Hello, everybody. This is Cheryl, and um, I'm coming to you in the midnight hour almost to, to do this video. So um, I've gotten actually several questions from folks about uh, the, the PBQs on the Security Plus and you know, the CISA and any, any other CompTIA tests they're taking. So the performance-based questions. Uh, you know, fo folks struggle with those uh, as opposed to the multiple choice. And I get it, okay? Because when I saw my first PBQ on the CISA, I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> and, and what do they expect me to do with this thing? All right, so I, I totally get it. Um, I've already created a video um, on PBQs, but with this one, I want to get, I want to go at it in a different way. Okay. Um, so since I've, I've taken both the CISA and the Security Plus, plus, you know, and I've been working in the area, um, I, I've, you know, I have other ideas and other ways um, that I, I think would be useful for you moving forward as you go, as you study for the test, uh, first of all. Okay. And then once you have it in front of you, a really good strategic way to actually answer the questions um, or come up with the solutions correctly. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to share my screen with you and share. Okay. So, past the first time, how to study and successfully answer CompTIA performance based questions. This is me with my new shaved head, which I absolutely love. Uh, and Epiphany LLC is, is my business. Person-centered cyber is my tagline, okay? And we'll get more into that uh, later. So first of all, let's, let's differentiate between the multiple choice questions and the performance-based questions on the CompTIA exam and, and when you study, okay? Now the multiple choice questions for those you select one or more correct answers to a specific question, okay? Now you might be saying, you know, I know what the hell a, a multiple choice question is, just bear with me, okay? Because it's important that we start on the same page before I get into the process to answering a PBQ, okay? So performance-based questions uh, pro require that you perform a task or solve a problem, okay? So that's the difference between the two, all right? Now, the way CompTIA and SMEs that work with CompTIA come up with these things are, um, there are some similarities and there are some differences, okay? Now, for the MCQs and PBQs, the similarities are uh, they perform a job task analysis, okay? Of course, psychometricians have to be there to make sure the questions are really good questions and actually getting to what they wanna get to. And, uh, and SMEs have to write the questions and, and, the, uh, and the problems, okay? Now the differences, all right? Now for multiple choice, the focus is on you memorizing the answer. Now listen, let me, let me say this before I go any further. This information is for those of us who have not had the opportunity to get five, 10, 15 years of hands-on uh, cybersecurity experience, okay? This is for those of us who the clearance says you need a security plus, uh, you know, the job requirement, you have everything else except that certification, okay? You're moving into cyber as a new career, okay, that kind of thing. So let me just, you know, go ahead and, and, and get that out of the way. So, so um, now back to this. So the difference is uh, MCQs are focused on knowledge, PBQs focus on understanding, right? Which is situational application you know how to use these terms, these tools, all this stuff in different situations, okay? The questions have little to no context. It's just asking you, what is a firewall? You know, what is a port? Which port goes here? Which thing goes there? You know, that kind of thing, all right? PBQs have context to them, all right? Now, when uh, SMEs are creating these exam questions, for the MCQs, you'll you see here the kinds of things uh, they want to know. What kind of questions we ask, what kind of distractions do we need to put in there? Y'all know they have those answers to the questions that, you know, 
it, it's sometimes it's hard for you to decipher which one is right, which one is wrong, you know, but I talk about that in another video as well. Now look at the PVQs. This is the kind of things that they're asking. What tasks do we want this candidate to perform? Okay, in this performance-based question, all right? What software or tools will they need access to in order to provide a solution for this PVQ, okay? That's a, whole, that's a different mindset, all right? I'm gonna need you to get into the mindset of the people who created the questions versus the PBQs, uh, the PBQ problems, all right? So a sample MCQ. What can, what can security devices replicate on a Linux-based system using IP tables to examine and handle network-based traffic? That's the stuff you need to know, okay? You, you just need to know that. Now look at the PBQ. What rules should be added to the firewall to allow traffic to the web server, which will be serving, serving both secured and unsecured web pages in the diagram below? I'm gonna show you the diagram in a minute. This is not just asking you for a response. You're actually gonna to have to look at something and determine what the problem is and how to solve it, okay? So these, these are the different, now you're gonna to need to know uh, the stuff you need to know for the questions in order to come up with a solution. Okay, so one feeds into the other, all right? Now, multiple choice questions are about you having knowledge, you being able to memorize the stuff you study, being able to recall it when, when the, the, a question requires you to recall what you studied, okay? Knowledge is not understanding, and now we know this, we absolutely know that if you, you know, you get your certification, you pass your test, you get into the work environment, and somebody asks you to do something, you don't know what the hell you, you need to do, okay? Because all you have is knowledge. You could tell them what a port is. You could tell them what port 23 is for, okay? But if they ask you to do something with it, then they're going to be SOL, okay? Because you don't understand that stuff, right? Okay. So transforming knowledge to understanding. These are the kinds of things you need to do to transform your knowledge of ports and firewalls and you know, cloud security, okay, into understanding or something you can apply in different situations. Now look at the last two. Put knowledge into context and incorporate real world application. CompTIA recommends for Security Plus, CISA, and CAS some kind of experience before you go to take these exams. That's their recommendation, okay? They're not saying it's not a prerequisite. You don't have to have it. However, they do recommend it, okay? Because these PBQs require understanding, okay? Versus just memorizing something, okay? You, you gotta do some critical thinking and analysis, you know, and all that. To, uh, to, to solve these PBQs. And for some of us, that's unrealistic. Like for me, I, I got the Security Plus because the position I wanted required it on the contract, okay? So if I wanted that position, I had to, you know, study my behind off, right? And, and, and go in there and, and get it. Um, so this is just unrealistic for us to, you know, to get 10 years experience before we go and take the cast that this job needs, you know, for the contract or, or whatever the case is, okay? Now with that in mind, what can we do? Let me tell you how to study. So you can answer these PBQs, uh, you can solve these PBQs the right way. Read the PBQ and understand what the problem is. Okay, look, now look at this one. What rules should be added to the firewall to allow traffic to the web server, which will be serving both secured and unsecured web pages in the diagram below? What is the problem that this PBQ is presenting? There are no firewall rules here. The, the, they wanna do something, the business wants to do something, okay? They, they, uh, but there's no rules here, all right? Now, the next thing you wanna do, so you find out what the problem is, then you want to review the concept and the questions that you don't understand. Now for the CISA, okay, um, I did not, I studied for the CISA by looking at the questions. And if there was something in the question I did not understand or I didn't know what it was, 
I, I Googled it. I went to, you know, uh, I got some books off of Amazon. That's when I looked for what, what this thing was. So for example, in this one, if you don't know the difference between secure and unsecure web pages, then go look that up. Like right there on the spot, look it up, okay, before you attempt to, to solve this, all right? So review concepts and the questions that you don't understand. Now, determine the contextual need. This is the thing right here. What does this PBQ need? What are they trying to do? Like put it in context. Okay, are they looking for communication? Is that the reason for this? And I have the definition there, imparting or exchanging information. Is it a protection context? Are they looking to protect something? So when you protect, the focus is on internal threats, okay, in the system. Or are you looking to secure something where the focus is on external threat? So just when you look at the, your PBQ um, problem, what is the context? Is it CPRS? Think of CPS, communication, protection, or security. Okay. Once you discover that, now you need to solve the puzzle. I did not say answer the question. Okay. Solve the puzzle. Look at the performance based questions, even though that's what they call them, as puzzles that need a solution. Okay. Now, why do I say a solution? Now, I'm saying all this stuff because this, it's important that you frame PBQs this way, because even framing it in this way will help you to get to the correct solution, all right? So you're looking for a solution, not an answer. Solution is how a problem is solved, and an answer is just a response to a question, okay? Now, and you also, uh, create a line of attack that lets you progress towards a solution. Think of a puzzle. Look at this picture of a puzzle, okay? You can start, in, when you're putting a puzzle together, you can start with any piece. It don't matter. Just start with a piece, and then you look around for things that fit into one of those ends, right? That's how you solve, a, that's how you end up solving a puzzle. The PBQ is the same way. Which piece? are you gonna start with? Now, here you go, same question with the answer, okay? What rules should be added to the firewall to allow traffic to the web server, which will be serving both secure and unsecured web pages in the diagram below? You can start with, so the question says secure and unsecured. You automatically know from your study that that's about HTTP and HTTPS, okay? IP address, where do you see an IP address? Uh, you know, in, in this picture, okay? What's the destination IP? What's the source IP? You know, so there are, you can start anywhere in this PBQ to begin to solve it. You can start at the port. You can start at, well, what's the destination IP and put, uh, put that, you know, in, in, the, in the area. So my point here is that there is no one, one place to start, okay? Um, you can start anywhere you want to start, okay, as long as you get to solving the problem. And what was the problem? There were no rules in place that would allow uh, what, this, um, what this problem is asking for, okay? Something that serves both secure and unsecure web pages, all right? Now you have a solution to that. You have not an answer, you have a solution. So whatever your line of attack was, your line of attack was to start at the port numbers, your line of attack was to start with the destination IP, um, you know, whatever that line of attack was, all right? So when you study, when you study for your PBQs, be sure you're looking for things that you don't know, because that's going to make it harder, you know, to come to a solution if you're missing puzzle pieces. The, all the concepts in this problem uh, question up here are like puzzle pieces, okay? If you don't know something, that's a piece you're missing, which is going to make it harder for you to come to the solution. All right, you got that? Now, what I need you to remember here, like I said, all of us can't get 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 years of experience, okay, before 
we go for these certifications, okay? So now trying to bridge the gap between knowledge and understanding, this is what we can do. Look at the PBQ as a problem in need of a solution versus a question in need of an answer, okay? Because when you have a problem in need of a solution, you can start anywhere, all right? Read the PBQ and find out what the problem is, okay? And make it a problem statement. Like, what is the problem here that needs to be solved? Now determine the contextual need. Think of CPS. Is it a communication need? Is it a protection need? Or is it a security need, okay? That provides you the context. Okay, and, and, and it's the context that's really gonna also help you to come to the correct solution, all right? If you're trying to get to a communication solution, a protection solution, or a security solution, okay? Plan your line of attack, all right? And then present your solution. Okay, now what I want you to do is, I'm gonna have these, these references at the bottom of the video. Um, as well. So the backwards bicycle video really does an amazing job of explaining the difference between knowledge and understanding, okay, and what, what's required for you to get from one to the other. Uh, there's also two other links here with sample PBQs, one from CompTIA, another from InfoSec Institute, okay, uh, security plus performance-based questions, all right. Now, this is me again. If you want to connect, here are the various ways that you can connect with me. I talk about all things cyber and training and you know diversity and all, all these other things uh, on Twitter, Instagram, Cyber Salama blog, and my LinkedIn. Please uh, share and like this video. And if you have not already, I'm gonna need you to smash that button and subscribe to my uh, cybersecurity page, okay? Thank you so much for listening and I will be back next time. Let me know if you have any questions or anything. Uh, go ahead and put them on uh, under the video and, um, and we can chat, okay? I will talk to you all soon, bye.